Mark here for Mark's Max Muscle. And today, we're going to be going over another one of the eight mandatory poses. And so far, we've covered the front double by and the most muscular. And my champions for those two poses were Arnold Schwarzenegger for the front double by and, yeah, buddy, Ronnie Coleman for the most muscular. A third on my list is actually one of my favorite poses. It is the front lat spread. This is definitely a true test of the bodybuilder's proportion, shape, symmetry, and the lines, of course. Now, without further ado, let's hop into our time machine and get started. And we land in the 1950s, and let's have a look at this guy here. He is Steve Reeves. He was one of the first guys I stumbled upon that had an impressive lat spread. Looks pretty good. Of course, he had the small waist. Wide shoulders really helps in this uh, pose. Have a look at this guy, Jim Haslip. It's very impressive front lat pose, especially for the 1950s. Very impressive. Here he is in front of his trophies. Well, uh, well deserved trophies. Have a look at Reg Park. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger's hero. I mentioned time and time again. Pretty impressive in the front lat. Here he is uh, training, I guess. And here he is, stage ready. Ready to do battle, perhaps against Steve Reeves. The aforementioned Steve Reeves. It's Freddie Ortiz. An unknown to me before uh, doing this video. Very impressive. Another shot of him here, perhaps photoshopped. I'm not sure. I'm not one to say. Here's Elmo Santiago. Another unknown to me. Not bad. He's trying to hit the front lat here as he's holding his trophy. Pretty impressive feet. Here's the Oak. Arnold. In his best years, he really pulled this uh, pose off very well. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Of course, he was always overshadowed in this pose by this man. Sergio Oliva. He is the myth, and they called him that for a reason. Look at this. Even in his later, uh, later on in his career, in this uh, picture here, still pulled the pose off very well. Not bad, not bad at all. Here's Frank Zane. He had a fairly impressive front lat pose, I would say. Very slender physique. Now, have a look at this guy here. He hit this shot perfectly. Just not only his lats, but his whole body just morphed into this pose. Looked like some sort of a King Cobra. Wow, Robbie Robinson. You know, he's my favorite bodybuilder for a reason. We all have our favorite, I have mine. He is Robbie Robinson. And I am proud of that fact. Have a look at uh, Franco Colombo. He had a very impressive back lat spread, but it also translated into not a bad front lat spread. And here is, but oh, well, I'm not even going to mention this guy's name, but I don't know how he ended up on this list. But wow, what an impressive front lat spread. I'm not even going to mention his name because we all know who he is. We don't need to mention his name. Now have a look at this guy. Lee Haney. Haha. -ha. Lee. Very impressive front lat spread by Haney. Eight time Mr. Olympia. Looks very strong in this pose. Good pose for him. Not too many guys in his era could uh, stand toe to toe with him. Not too many that I can think of. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe this guy here. Actually, he's, uh, he's beating Haney in the front lat spread. Doreen Yates. Here he is with. Uh, full bloom mullet, excellent mullet version. 
but just unbelievable in the front lat pose. Look at this pitcher here as he's training. A lot of the times you see training pitchers of guys, and it doesn't translate to on-stage competition poses, but as you can see here, Dorian Yates, very consistent with this pose. Not too many guys could uh, match front lat poses again with him, except this guy here really does a good job. Not saying he's beating Dorian, but wow. Andres Munzer, one of my favorite bodybuilders from the 90s, and I think he's underrated. Here's Ernie Taylor. Oh, sorry, that's uh, Vince Taylor. My mistake. A very impressive front lat spread. Couldn't find too many shots of him doing this, but in that one pitcher there, he's handling that shot pretty well. Now here's uh, Sonny Schmidt. Not the best, but... Far from the worst. And have a look at Ronnie Coleman. Again, not the best, but I would say he is close to being the best in this shot. Now, of course, later on in his career, as you can see by this picture here, he notices, uh, I think it's his right lat. His calf seems to be also, seems to be melted. He's very hard on his body all those years. Of course, it uh, it takes that to win eight Sandows. Of course, he always uh, looked great here in his younger years. 1998, got his first Sandow that year. Looks great in the front lot. Here's Thierry Pastel, an underrated bodybuilder from the 90s. French guy, so got to put this guy on the list as well. Francis Benfato. Both guys, uh, really uh, two of the most aesthetically pleasing bodybuilders of all time. And they had to make way for the mass monster era and guys like this. Now, initially, I wasn't going to put this guy on the list. But in 97 here, he really nailed this shot. It's Nesser al somebody. Here's Chris Cormier. For a big guy, he really had a small waist. So he pulled this shot off pretty good. Especially in this picture here. Look at the legs. He nailed his conditioning that night. Jean-Pierre Fuchs. Another one of the mass monsters from the 90s. Jay Cutler. Good here and good every year. He was pretty consistent with this pose, really. Jay Cutler, not a, not a huge fan of him, but got to give, uh, give him his due. And Bob Ciccarello. Pretty impressive in the front lat spread, actually. Ernie Taylor. Ernie Taylor has a distinct look about him pulling off this pose, as well as this guy here, Orville Burke. Wow. Never seen front lat pose like this before. I don't think anybody has. Looks like some sort of alien creature. His uh, lats are very highly inserted. And in contrary, contrast... This guy here is uh, lats insert very low, almost down to his hips. Actually, not sure of this guy's name. Let's call him a, uh, a white Johnny Jackson. And of course, uh, Dennis James here. A good silhouette, good shape, but there's something wrong with his stomach there. I'm not sure. I think it might be a genetic trait. He's a really split abs. Here's another Dennis, Dennis Wolf. One of my favorite uh, of the newer guys to hit this shot. Pretty good. Here's dwarfing uh, Ronnie Coleman. And who is that? Ernie Taylor? No, Malvin Anthony, sorry. Malvin Anthony. Uh, Kai Green. One of the few guys able to do battle against Dennis Wolf in this shot. He does pretty good in this pose. Especially for a mass monster. Man, not too many guys compete with him. Until this guy here really uh, come into his own. Especially lately. Of course, Mamdua Elsbaye, Big Grammy. Nah, I just think he is the best to hit it nowadays. Hands down. Who can compete with that? Where's this guy here who gives him a go? Cedric McMillan. 
Doesn't have the mass, but he always ends up on my uh, mandatory pose lists. Really uh, all around good uh, athlete. Nathan Dayashi, a new big horse coming on the scene. Look at that for a front lat pose. This is uh, Josh uh, Libowalski. I'm not sure. I definitely think I got that name wrong. I'll have to uh, definitely add him and do another video and get his name correctly. He's a Australian bodybuilder. He's very impressive. One of the new horses. I definitely should have learned his name because he is the last guy on my list. And now it is time for Mark's Max Muscle to decide who hits the front lat pose the best. Now, I broke it down to four guys this time. A guy from uh, usually every generation. And then I weigh the comparisons and, you know, of course, there's guys that are going to have advantages the more modern they are. So i got to take that into consideration. So here's my four guys that I picked. And first is Jim Haslam. How could I not pick him? Look at the lats for the 1950s. It's for his time, he has to be one of the best, of course. And you can't, uh, you can't overlook this guy, the myth, Sergio Oliva. Look at the lats. And of course, third on my list, Robbie Robinson. Now, it's hard for me not to be biased with this guy because I just like him so much, but I'm trying to be impartial here, and he is one of the best to hit this shot. And then you got to look at this guy, Dorian Yates. And what can I say? I got to pick him. Dorian Yates. He is my pick. He is the Mark's Max Muscle front lat pose king. How could I not pick Dorian Yates? I mean, you hear uh, uh, commentaries. If they see a guy hit a front lat pose correctly, what do they say? They say it's Dorian-esque. So, I mean, the, the shot's named after the guy. But, I had to pick him. He is the king of the front lat pose. Dorian Yates. Well, that does it for this one. My next uh, segment, done on the eight mandatory poses, will be done on the side tricep. So keep an eye out for that one. It should be interesting. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you did. And that's it for now. This is Mark for Mark's Max Muscle.